Yo, I get it. We are operating in a very saturated market these days. So I want to give you a couple of ways as a coach or entrepreneur to separate yourself, differentiate yourself, let yourself stand apart in such a busy marketplace. So number one, number one way, well, I don't even want to say that they're in any, in any order of importance. They're all really important. So I can say one way to set yourself apart from the marketplace is to understand what is your unique selling proposition. You'll hear it called USP. It basically means what makes you different? What is your secret sauce? What product or service are you putting out in the marketplace that is that is also different? I can make those two, but we're going to make them one. Like, how are you different? And how is the product that you're putting out in the marketplace different because of that? So let me give you an example. One of my secret sauces is that I used to work for the Department of Justice. And in my job at the Department of Justice, I had to, I did my training at the FBI Academy and I had to train um, and learn a lot about body language and where people look and how they move and what that means. And when somebody, when I'm about to debrief somebody, you know, a criminal and what their eyes do and how they start breathing when they're getting ready to run off, if that's the case. So I bring that very extensive training into my business as a business owner and as a coach that's coaching others on how to talk to, interact with, connect with people. So that is one of my big unique selling propositions that I don't know how many people can say that. So begin to think about for you, what makes your, your you different and what makes what you're going to offer into the marketplace different. So that's one thing that makes me different. One thing that makes me different in my product and in the marketplace is teaching that to my clients, but also not just teaching them on paper, but teaching it in a role play environment. So every week, twice a week, my clients and, and my senior coaches get together and they train the senior coaches, train the, the new coaches on how to facilitate a conversation when somebody is interested in working with you. Now, I know a lot, there's a lot of programs out there. Yes, there is. There's a lot of coaching programs out there, but I don't know any, like, and I'm not saying there are any, there aren't any, but what I am saying is I've heard of a lot of coaching programs. I've been in several programs myself and I've never seen or been in an environment where they're literally teaching you by doing you know, most of them are teaching you how to ride a bike, I call it, in a seminar, and you're reading how to ride the bike, put your foot on the pedal, okay, lean to the other side, put the other foot on the pedal, make sure you already start moving. But would you learn better reading that? Or do you learn better actually leaving the classroom, getting on the bike, putting your foot on the pedal, leaning to the other, other side, putting the other foot on the pedal, and, and starting the momentum of riding. That's where you're really going to learn how to ride the bike. So one thing that makes my my coaching my coaching uh, business different is that we teach you how to do it by doing it every single week live. Another thing that makes us different is teaching in a live environment. Not a lot not a lot of coaching programs these days have live elements to their coaching. It's just videos you watch. We have videos you watch too. Yes but bringing people into a live environment. So just sit and think for a minute, how is what, how are you different? How is what you're offering different? And how can you highlight that in the marketplace? All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna group, that could have been two or three, but we're gonna group it together as one. So number two, another way that you can differentiate yourself, differentiate yourself in the marketplace video team. Don't loop that out because I'm showing that things happen and I'm not perfect and I just keep going. That's a learning lesson right there. So don't don't uh, edit that out. So base number two, based on your values and beliefs would be number two. How are your values and beliefs different in the marketplace? How are you presenting those? For example, one of my guiding themes, my guiding principles is I believe that any and everyone gets to create the life they want. 
So I'm always making that part of my messaging because that's what my core's values and beliefs literally are. So how are you on top of what you uniquely bring to the marketplace, how your program, your processes, and your product is different? How are you then layering on your beliefs and core values and connecting that with, with other people? So that was number two. Number three, I love this one, you guys. Number three is how is your audience different? Being aware of how your audience is different. And let me tell you what I mean by that. What I mean by that is think of Target and Walmart. They're both stores. They both have superstores. They both sell food. They both sell clothes. They both sell electronics. They both sell automotive things. They both sell camping gear. They both sell... There's a, there's a lot of commonalities. We can name 50 things that they both sell. But you know, and I know, that they're two different stores and they have two different vibes from the moment you walk in or from the moment you pull in the parking lot. And you also know that their target audience is different. There are people who are Target shoppers that wouldn't go to Walmart. There's people who go to Walmart and they feel like Target shoppers are uppity. They sell the same thing, but they have different audiences. So you have to look at, to differentiate, how is your audience different from someone else's? There could be 10 coaches that have different sort of audiences, right? So how, how is the type of clients that you have or the type of and or the type of clients that you want to attract, how are they different? What are their characteristics? For example, the Walmart shopper, they're there looking for convenience because a lot of them are open 24 hours a day. They're, they're definitely looking for price. I can't say they're necessarily looking for for quality, not that Target, Target is high, high, high quality, but it's different from Walmart, right? It's different from Walmart. It, I, it, look, I'm not making it up. Y'all know what I know. And I know if you're watching me right now, I don't know if you're a Target shopper or a Walmart shopper or both, but I bet you bottom dollar that you know that they're different, which is my point, right? So take what I've shared here with you and just begin to ponder and consider how am I standing out and differentiating myself in such a busy marketplace? Because when you're clear on these things, it's not as difficult to reach your target audience. How are you unique? What is your secret sauce? How is your product unique? What are your morals and values? And how are you letting that come through in your messaging in your business? And how is your target audience different? And does your messaging align with who they are, how they are, what they want, how they think, where they go, when they go, and all things. Y'all, all these things need to be considered in order to grow as an entrepreneur and or a coach. See you next time.